What's up, gang? Good morning, good morning, good morning. On this incredible... What's today? Saturday morning. Wow. The end of 2022 ends on a Saturday. That's pretty cool. Because doesn't the week start on a Sunday? No, no, that sound corny, right? I ain't looking at my dogs. But hey, y'all. Want to jump in and... uh Man, I have a chat about 2023 and a year in review about 2022. You know, it's been a God bless 2022 for many of us. And, you know, I'll start this off by saying all of us had some great experiences in 2022. Um, I know you did because I did. And things happen that, you know, that were part of life. Babies were born in 2022. Um, Unfortunately, people passed away in 2022. Um, Businesses exploded in 2022. People went bankrupt in 2022. You know, you found the love of your life in 2022. You got divorced in 2022. Guess what that's called, y'all? And I could give example about example about example. You 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 gained weight in 2022. You lost record pounds in 2022. You know, there were so many great things and so many interesting things and so many things that took part of your life in 2022. And guess what's going to happen in 2023? The same damn things, okay? But what's great about it is that you could put yourself in a mental position where you expand and you grow and you help other people grow successfully by where your mind is. And, and you know, I'm excited about the future. Very, very excited. I just shared some of my goals with, um, with a group of friends, with our UIGI ring earners and uh, some other folks. I've shared them with my mentors as well. Um, man... 2023 is going to be astronomical. It is. And I know some of you have already started goal setting and planning for 2023. Maybe as early as the last quarter of 2022. You know, but 2023 is going to be exciting. You know, here's some things that, think about this. Some of the, some of the review, review. You know, personally, review of 2022, we hit some major, major milestones. Um, one in UIGI, we helped more and more and more and more people make more money. We had a record number of people get involved in our platforms um, that we don't own for that matter, Um, which is great. And we watched a lot of people make a lot of money in 2022. Um, I've seen so many thriving and flourishing relationships, you know, by by watching you guys on Facebook, you know I posted earlier today. Many times, you know, we don't you, you don't see a people like your stuff like this video right now, right? There won't be a lot of people that will engage in the video. There won't be a lot of people that like this video. But I'll look at this maybe three days later and have a thousand views, right? Um, it won't be that many comments, or maybe there will. I don't know, but people are watching. You know, so I want people to know. Let 2023 be the year. That you know people are watching. Say that to yourself. And why is that important for some people? Not most. Those who are mentally strong, it's not that important for you. But do you know, there have been people that have been affected by social media. By likes and comments. I had someone reach out to me. Won't mention any names. Um, person I've known for years. Literally say to me. And I'm not mad, you know, but I'm just giving an example. Literally say to me that they thought that I wasn't supporting them because I didn't like their post on Facebook. Now, I've known this person for years. And it's not a diss. It's just a fact. You know, this has nothing to do with feelings or anything. I'm just making a point. They said that they felt that I wasn't supportive of them anymore because I wasn't liking their post on Facebook. Do y'all know that many times stuff don't even show up on your news feed? 
Even if you like someone. I have, a, I have over 5,000 Facebook friends. Do you think for one second, for one second, that every time my 5,000 friends post on their polls, it sh post on their page, it shows up in my news feed? Absolutely not. 98% of it don't show up in my news feed. And so knowing that, man, y'all better let 2023 say I don't give a damn about a like, a comment, None of the above. 2023 is going to be the year of discovery for some folks. 2023 is going to be a year that some of you will really, really, really live your best life because you've been gearing up to this. 2023 will be the foundation that you set for the next 10 or 20 years of your life because you've been gearing up for this. I'm telling you. I'm going to sit back and watch. Excuse me. 2023 is just going to be awesome. So here's a couple of years, things in review of last year. Some things that, you know, happened with um, UIGI Social Club, myself, our friends. Yo, y'all know we gave away three Mercedes last year. Not one, not two, but three. And the last Mercedes we gave away, the couple, well, Ms. Zena won it. Ms. Zena Crump and Mr. Andre Crump, they elected to take the cash so they could play with it and make more money off of it. Instead of get, taking a Mercedes. Now, here's the watch this, watch this, watch this. So, we gave away three Mercedes last year. Three brand new Mercedes. They came off the showroom floor. So, one person we gave it to, they weren't part of UIGI. So, they elected to take the Mercedes. Went down to the dealership, put it in their name. Gave him a hug. God bless you from UIGI Social Club. And watch them ride off in the sunset. Another person. Won a Mercedes. Same thing. Went down to the dealership. You know. Did I, did put everything in their name. We paid for everything. Gave him a hug. Watched them ride off in the sunset. The third person. Who won the Mercedes. We were in Mexico. Their name was pulled out of a hat. And they say, you know what? We have cars. We might not need another car. And I mean, they didn't say this immediately. But what's the cash equivalent? Once they found out what the cash equivalent was, they're like, okay, I'm going to take this money and put it in some investment platforms. I guarantee you right now, well, I'm going to put my hand on, on a, every... Good book there is on the planet. I guarantee you right now that when they took the cash equivalent to that Mercedes, I guarantee you they probably quadrupled the money off of the cash equivalent that they received. That's a clue. And that's what 2023 is going to be for a lot of you. Some folks are going to be like, you know what? I'm about to start playing with UIGI Social Club. And you'll learn some of the foundational principles that we learn, that we know, that's making us rich. Some of us just got to slow down and understand. You got to understand this, y'all. You don't have to stop what you're doing. Don't stop what you're doing. Do y'all know how many celebrities and athletes are part of UIGI, but they ain't stopping what they're doing? They're looking at UIGI for the now, for the cash flow they're making now, because they're making cash flow right now. But they're also looking at the long term. If you only knew some of the celebrities and athletes that you all love and like that are part of UIGI, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. And why is it, you know, why do I put reference to a celebrities? And athletes in particular because no matter what we say no matter what I say no matter what you say people follow them they enjoy entertainment they enjoy sports if you knew some of the quiet millionaires and soon-to-be billionaires who are part of UIGI you wouldn't believe it you just wouldn't it ain't even worth it ain't even worth me telling you. It's not even worth me losing my breath.
Because they ain't going to make any never mind for people who aren't a part of us. Some people going to be like, word, so what? That's for them. I don't care. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's crazy. And that's it's instinctual with some people. You know? Uh, I just had a very, 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 very popular, very, very popular um, podcaster at my home the other day. We had an amazing conversation. That person was just awarded a contract over $100 million. While he was excited about that $100 million, he was equally excited about joining UIGI. Equally. Now, how many of you have given a contract for $100 million? Would you even think about joining a little small social club like UIGI? How many of you would? I know I would. Because I want my money to grow for me. I want that $100 million to go to a, to a billion. And with the conversations we have at UIGI, you could do that. Yo, we're not the world's most trusted social club just because we're the world's most trusted social club because so many people are winning. Yo, y'all know in 2022, we, we did a lot of good stuff, man. Jeez. We helped so many people make extra money. We helped so many people experience some happiness that they've never re- experienced before. We helped people start to reshape their mindset and how they look at their future. People got peace knowing that they're going to be all right. That they ain't going to have to work for the rest of their damn life. Someone posted, my man Caleb just posted something recently. And and I'm a paraphrase, but he posted something like, you know, it must it must suck. And I'm and I'm sensitive to those who are in this situation. But it must suck to be on social security at the age of 60, 65, and still be struggling. What happens is that you're gonna buy somebody's plan. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're going to buy somebody's plan. You're going to, there's nothing new under the sun. So you're going to follow or you're going to buy somebody's plan. It is what it is. And for those who are financially struggling right now, you bought somebody else's plan. You bought it full retail. And unfortunately, Or maybe even fortunately, because you're not losing, you're just learning. You're learning what you don't like. Because you're in a situation right now that you don't like, you're learning from it. You ain't losing. You're learning from it. You ain't taking no L's, no loss. You're taking a learn. But the question is, how long are you going to be in lesson mode? I guess we're in lesson mode all of our life, right? Because we're life learners. But if you're in a lesson mode right now and it don't feel that comfortable... You got to learn more. You got to do more. I'm out here in a nice, toasty, 48-degree weather. It's getting warm as we speak. It's uh, it's foggy today. You know, normally New Year's be cold in a mug. I'm so glad we got a nice forecast. But it's foggy. So you see, I put, the new, I put those new foggies on my Jeep, I think. <laughs> Roddy Rich and... and uh, What's the other cat? What's that song? That's one of my favorite songs for my kids. My young my young kids. Yeah, last night I was at a concert. Uh, up in New York at the Barclays Center. Backstage. And I had the chance, you know, the pleasure of supporting, you know, young King Combs, Puffy's son. Who did a remarkable job on stage. He reminded me so much of Puff when Puff was in his high. Yeah, he reminds me of Puff now. And it was cool supporting that young man being there. You know, spend a little bit of cash, doing what I'm doing to support that ticket. So that young man who up there on that stage, who, who does extremely well outside the stage, to support that young cat. Ain't that, now, I don't hate on the young music. It's not that much of it I understand. But the, one, the, the little bit I do understand, I support it. Then I got a chance to bump into, you know, a friend, Miss Queen B herself. Miss Lil' Kim, 
You just want the best to ever do it. Real talk. When people have longevity, like she's had longevity in this short-lived game, man, listen. It was crazy because the Barclays Center was getting packed. And, you know, the crowd was jumping for, you know, Young King Combs and all the other acts. When Little Kim hit the stage, it erupted in that bad boy. And I'm like, wait a minute. Some of these little whippersnappers were not even born when she was rocking and rolling doing her thing but when you do it right whether you approve with the music or not when you do it right that legacy follow you them young cats was in that bad boy rocking it was cool we had a good time we had a good time I'm telling y'all right now so one of my neighbors just drive by you gotta hear me when I'm saying this Life for you in 2023 is going to be astronomical. Because you're going to be focused on getting happy and getting rich. Look, let me tell you. Some of y'all focus on finding love. I hear you. You get happy, you get rich. Love will run your ass down. You be, you be fighting off love. I, hey. You get happy first. Happy first. Happy first. And get richer, love will run you down. You won't be able to fight love off. And I ain't talking lust and like. I'm talking love. Because love attracts love. And the happier you are, the more in love you are with yourself. And the more in love you are with yourself and the happier you are, the more you attract people. I'm telling you. God hear me when I say it. Yo, life in 2023 is going to be good. Today, some of y'all going to be out chilling. You're probably going to just watch the ball drop here in the United States, Canada, places that observe, you know, New Year's as we know it, different parts of the world. Some of y'all going to be out popping bottles. Some of y'all going to be making New Year's resolutions. Some of y'all going to be like, this is the last time I'm drinking like five months. <laughs> oh, that might be me. Until next Saturday. No, but some of y'all, y'all, tonight gonna be cool. Tonight gonna be cool. But what are some of the things that you did in 2022 that you were uber proud of? I can't even mention the things that happened in and around my life in 2022 that I was extremely proud of. Y'all know I learned some lessons in 2022. I learned one of my mentors and friends, Brother HB. He told me, he literally told me out of his mouth, two things not to do. I went to him. I asked him. I had a conversation. He said, no, nah, I wouldn't do that, Rabu, based on my experiences, such and such and such and such, I wouldn't do that. I had already given my word to a group that I was going to do it. But he's like, I wouldn't do it. You know, figure it out however you're going to figure it out. I wouldn't do it if I were you. I did it. Not disregarding what he said. But I did it because I guess I need to learn on my own. And normally I'm smarter than that. I think this is the last time in my life in 2022. It's funny, 22 people are viewing right now while I'm saying this. I think this is the last time in my life in 2022 that a mentor of mine will say Rabu don't do something and I do it it's the last time in my life in 2022 that I'm gonna play with any money play with any income opportunities at all unless I run it by my mentors I need y'all to hear what I'm saying and I could take some gambles on a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm not. I learned a big lesson last year. Big one. And some people, they did taking the, 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 the one day. It was a one day financial hit. A one day financial hit. But I lost about a million. Gone. Gone in the wind. It's a one day financial hit. 
Did it hurt my pockets? No. Did it hurt my pride? No. Did it mess with my mindset? No. Was I embarrassed when I talked to my mentor? Yes. I'm going to tell you I'm human. He's like, now I told you. And it was okay for him to say I told you. Because it didn't burn. He's like, I told you. And the second time, he told me not to mess with one cat. He's like, I wouldn't mess with that cat if I were you. And I was going off of the fact that, you know, that may have been your bad experience with the person. The person seemed cool enough. I'm going to give him a chance. Why I do that? And I'm going to tell you why I did it. Because I always used to pride myself off. Well, just because you had a bad experience with somebody don't mean I'm going to have a bad experience with them. Because something may have happened in that relationship that I don't know about, blah, 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 blah. I stopped saying that shit. I will never say that again. Never. Ever. If one of my mentors, friends, someone who I trust, love, and respect that I jump in a foxhole with, you know, I say, look, I had a bad experience. And actually, my mentor wasn't the only one. Another friend of mine told me not to mess with that cat because of his experience. And me messing with that cat and helping that person out, I gained nothing out of it. Not a damn thing. Not that I was looking for gain. There's a lesson in this, y'all. I wasn't looking for gain. I didn't gain anything out of it, being this person friend or trying to be this person friend. I was just like, God, oh, they seem okay. You don't seem that bad. They ain't do nothing to burn me yet. But because I didn't listen, I learned. And everything happens for a reason because since that person has been out of our life and out of our circle and out of our midst, we've exploded. So that was supposed to happen. So I could be having this conversation with y'all right now. So I had to learn to learn. It is what it is. So I'm telling you right now, you can learn from my lesson. If somebody that you love, trust, and respect dearly, and they say, yo, dog, I want effort that person you. Now, I ain't going to tell you what to do, but I want effort that person about you. Guess what? Don't read too deep into this shit. If you love, trust, respect them, be like, no said. Because a lot of times we try to justify it. Well, who knows what happened between the two of them? That don't got nothing to do with me. No, it doesn't have anything to do with you if one of your peoples who you don't love, trust, and respect. If you don't love, trust, respect this person, they're not really in your circle. They're not really, really, really in your circle. Then you're like, man, that was your experience. But you can't say people are part of your circle. And when they tell you something, you go in a different direction, that's going against the circle. Now, now let's make this, let me make this very, very clear. I don't want you to get caught up in what's called group think. Meaning everybody around you thinking a certain way, you think a certain way. No, 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 no. Some of us have a, and I, when I say your circle, your circle ain't your family all the time. And ain't your friends who justify your bullshit either. You feel good friends. It's your circle that get nose to nose with you out of respect. And be like, yo, dog, you slipping. It's your circle that whenever you have an inch of success, they're the biggest damn cheerleaders on the planet. Whenever you have 1% of success, they're the biggest cheerleaders on the planet. Whenever they see you going in the wrong direction, because they're part of your tight, real circle, they ain't going to tell you what to do, but they're going to tell you what they wouldn't do. And then it's up to you to listen. So I'm here to say right now, you won't ever, 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 
hear me give this testimony again. That one of my close tight mentors told me not to mess with something. And I did it anyway. Oh no. Oh no. I'm about to be 50 years old. If I ain't learned nothing in my young age, I learned to never do that shit again. Point blank period. Never again. That's some things I learned in 2022, y'all. Some people say, well, damn, you lost the mill. And, you know, you didn't listen to your peoples when they told you about a snake. And I won't tell you the, the damage that was caused by the snake. No need to talk about that. But what I do, what I will tell you, I learned a lesson. So what are we going to do in 2023? Man, we're going to ball out. We're going to have the time of our lives. We're going to, we're going to continue to post on Facebook your successes. Because we don't learn. My man Wallow, I saw him the other day. Y'all know Gillian Wallow, for those who follow him. I saw him the other day and I reposted something he said about humble. And then I think my man Jackson put up the definition of humble. Go ahead with all that humble shit. And if you don't understand what I'm saying right now, I want you to look up the definition of humble. Go ahead with all that humble shit. Because the average cats was telling you to be humble. Some of them say humble. They don't even put the H on it. It's because they ain't never cheat shit. And they can't even see. They can't even see themselves where you are. So they warn you. They warn you. To make sure you stay humble. No. No. Hell no. Just because you never accomplished anything. Are you scared to go out there and do something? Or you don't want to tell your story because the haters told you it was wrong? The jealous people told you it was wrong? I got a family member, right? And, I, and I'm going to say it. I ain't going to say their name. I got a family member who told one of my other family members that they don't like me because I'm too braggadocious and boastful on social media. We blood. But blood don't always mean real family. Y'all better hurry up and, and get that. But they told they told my other family member. God's my witness. That they don't like me. Because I'm too braggadocious. On social media. First of all, y'all know who made up the word braggadocious? Jealous people. Y'all know who made up who made up the word braggadocious? Uh, haters. They made the word up. The people who tell you to just stay humble. No, you don't have to stay humble. You better shine your light. Now don't be arrogant. Don't be no jerk. And we all know what being a jerk is. We all know what being arrogant is. Okay? And if you don't know... Ask for your closest friends or you being arrogant. If one tell you no, then maybe you aren't. If two tell you no, then maybe you aren't. Okay? But if three and four and five say you are and they in your circle, then maybe you act a little bit arrogant. And you need to tone down the arrogance. But you don't got to be humble. And I have a problem with the humble thing because back in the day during slavery time, yeah, I'm going to take it back because it's part of my history. If a black person looked at, you know, a slave owner or, or somebody in their neighborhood, if they looked at them in the eye, they got whipped for eyeballing somebody. Boy, don't you eyeball me. They got whipped with a leather damn whip. On their back for looking somebody in the eye. And they told them to hold your head down when you're in my presence. Your eyes should never look in my eyes. Your eyes should be looking at the ground. You have to show humility. Y'all know that where, that's where this humility shit started. Some of y'all don't know. Because you don't know American history that well. 
But that's where the humility stuff started. In 2023, we're going to throw this humility stuff in the garbage. We're going to be kind. We're going to be loving. We're going to be respectful. We're not going to be arrogant. And we damn sure ain't going to be humble. Or humble. There's too many people out there that need for you to be an example. A great example of success. Too many of them. Too many of them. There are people watching you right now. And they're going to be watching you in 2023. And they're waiting for you to win. So they can give themselves permission to win. But you walk around being humble. Because somewhere it passed down the line, 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 passed down the line. And I can say this for 400 years, passed down the line, passed down the line, passed down the line, passed down the line, and you made that shit yours when it's not yours. And it was never yours. It was never yours. Yours was to be a beacon, beacon of light, a beacon of sunshine. And this goes to my, my, my lighter skinned brothers and sisters too, my white American friends. Don't let nobody tell you to be humble. Be humble. Those are haters. People of color, we personalize a little bit more because it had to be a way of life for us to survive, to keep from letting lynch. But in today's society, white America too, don't be listening to nobody telling you, oh, you better be humble. Because that's the powers of beat, the, the powers that be trying to keep you broke. Real talk. They want you to say, stay middle class or below. So they can reap all the benefits. It's economic with you. Real talk. So it's 2023, y'all, it's time to win. I know y'all thought this message was going to be a little different. Nah. This is going to be a real message. Because I want you to win in 2023. I want you to enact all of your God-given abilities in 2023. I want you to be the, the woman. I want you to be the man in 2023. I want you to walk around with your head up high because you're helping people win in 2023. Post your successes. Post your wins. Show people that you're a beacon of light that they can follow. How do you help people who aren't doing that well in life? Whether it's emotionally, physically, financially. You show them something different. If you want to help the world and the world around you, you show them something that they can inspire to. Hope, inspiration, helps people grow. You know when a seed is planted in the ground and that seed grows, these trees behind me, you know why they grow? They grow as, they grow as tall as they possibly can because they see the sun. They coming through that ground. You plant a good seed, you fertilize that soil, it ain't gonna stay in the darkness forever. It'll stay in the darkness as long as it stays in the darkness. But once it gets a little peep of that sunshine, a little peep of that light, a little peep of that inspiration, a little peep of that hope, man, listen, that tree starts to grow. And it'll grow until you cut it down. And it'll drop up all the little seeds that become little fledglings and more trees and more trees and more trees. And a forest grows out of hope and inspiration. You want to lead an army? You don't lead them out of fear. You don't lead them out of mediocrity. You want to lead a movement? You don't lead them out of what's happening to them. You show them what can happen for them. And you be a living example. And how are you going to be a living example? How are you going to inspire somebody? If you are, if somebody told you, you better be humble. You don't even got a damn story to tell. I love to hear the Tyler Perry stories. 
I love to hear the Oprah Winfrey stories. I love to hear the Ellen stories. The Jim Carrey stories. Y'all know Jim Carrey? Y'all know he barely made it on in Living Color? Bear, do you know the Jim Carrey story? Look it up. He barely made it on in Living Color and then became one of the biggest world-renowned comedians on the planet. I love those stories. And he celebrated his success. Every time you saw that joke, he smiled. Now today he's more philosophical as he's grown older. Okay? But I love those stories. Stories of inspiration. We're going to lead a movement, y'all. And it'll start with UIGI Social Club. It'll start with us. We don't care. We don't mind being pioneers. We done pioneered a whole bunch of people to millions of dollars over the last couple of years. Some cats we just know about, they're like, yo, this is new to y'all. Dog. Well, it was Christmas of 2020. I bought Sherry her Lamborghini truck. We ain't just start this yesterday. It was Christmas of 2020. I ain't gonna say what I paid for it. Could have cost me a dollar. Who knows? But it was Christmas of 2020. This ain't start yesterday. And people been watching us rock on. And we growing. And we winning. We succeeding. And we're being beacons of light. I got something for y'all. Wait till the night of January 7th or the morning of January 8th. Wait till the night of January 7th or the morning of January 8th. And all y'all who know what I'm talking about, shush, be quiet. Wait till the night of January 7th or the morning of January 8th. We're going to shock the world. We're going to show you what it means to be beacons of light. We're going we're gonna to set a road map, an example. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm about to be game over. 2023 is the year that, that you start listening to Janet, Janet, I'm not Janet, um, Diana Ross, Diana Ross song, I'm the Boss. Go on YouTube. Look up I'm the Boss by Diana, Ross, by Diana Ross. Look up I'm Coming Out by Diana Ross. It's time for y'all to break out of your shell. Because for far too long, somebody told you to be humble. Put your head down. What? Again. We don't like arrogance. No one likes arrogance. No one really likes sarcasm. No one likes people with an attitude. No one likes people with their nose up in the air. No one likes those type of people. And we know who those people are. That's not you. That's not you. You are a beacon of light. You're not a beacon of light. You're the damn sun. You're a Nova sun. A beacon of light is too small for you. Let, let me not minimize who you are. Let me not minimize who I'm talking to. You're not just a beacon of light. You're the sun. Real talk. And it's you that I'm talking to right now. I guarantee you. Watch this. Because this is part of my goals for 2023. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. The people who are listening to me right now are the ones who are going to watch this later on. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you will be the one that's going to lead so many people to success this year. is going to blow their mind. And they're going to gracefully thank you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you from experience. I'm putting it on you. That's right. It's heavy. It's heavy. Because you can handle it. You developed these strong shoulders for all these years. For a time such as this. For you to be the sun. I 
I'm telling you. Yo, listen to me. Yo, you know what? We're going to be right back here next year this time. You'll be like, yo. Yo. That's so crazy. My mom was right. I'm telling you. Do you know what you're about to do for your circle? You know what you're about to do for your community? Do you know what you're really about to do? If you don't know, I'm telling you right now. Your quest or your to-do list, because it ain't a dream. In 2023, we ain't dreaming. You don't dream for a time such as this. It's here. It's here. So, so now you'll dream further on, but right now it's here. You've been dreaming all your life for a time such as this. It's here. It's here. I'm telling you, it's here. So now, we call it a to-do list. Now, you knock this shit out the park. Now, 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 you start doing the necessary things that are going to lead to masses. And trust me, in the beginning, you're going to think it's pressure. But I'm telling you right now from experience, it ain't pressure no more when all your people winning. When you're the only one who has this type of mindset... It's pressure. It's pressure. Because you're trying to change other people's mind. You're literally trying to change other people's mind. You're literally trying to brainwash people into making them believe that they are the one. It's pressure. But then when you get a whole bunch of people with you on the same page, and you don't got to make them believe anymore because they believe even stronger than you, shit, it's a cakewalk. I'm living my best life right now. Because I got cats who believe even stronger than me. That they are the ones. All pressure's gone. I can move about the cabin. I don't got to do a video. I don't got to do a motivation call. I don't got to stand on nobody's stage. Charge people a whole bunch of money. Or any of that stuff to get them riled up. And motivated. I don't got to do none of that. Because my cats already know that they the one. We stand side by side. We lead, what it, horizontally, horizontally, not vertically. We stand side, when I look to my left and I look to my right, I see soldiers. Now when I look behind me, I don't want nobody looking at my ass. You see my shoulders like I see your shoulders. We all have positive minds. We all are excited about life. We all are happy. We know things going to happen, but we all lead by example, side by side, shoulder to shoulder. Y'all don't know what 2023 going to be like. I'm here to tell you what 2023 going to be like. It's going to be awesome. Will there be some hitches? Yup. I'm telling you now, so when the hitches come, you're prepared. You're mentally prepared. People going to pass away. Relationships going to break up. You might lose a little bit of money here and there. Same thing that happened before. But you'll move on. And you'll continue to be the light. The sun. I'm sorry. Let me not disrespect you. The sun. The Nova sun. Man, listen, you got to hear me when I say it. I can't wait to hear the success stories. I got about six ring earners now. I got an interview, UIGI Social Club ring earners. Some of them who are already millionaires, they just joined us so they can increase their money. Some of them who, who when they got started with us, they believed a little bit. Now they believe a big bit. See, see, let me tell you something. You don't got to believe a lot. Especially when you get started. 
Some of us might come a little shy, a little scared. That's fair. Even though I don't believe in fear. That's fair. It's fair. But all you got to do is believe a little bit. And some people who joined us just believe in a little bit. Now they believe a whole lot of bit. So much so that they lead in the masses. Son. <laughs> Yo, y'all. Your boy excited. Sherry and I, we about to take a little quick trip up to King of Pressure Mall. We hitting them up early. It's a Saturday. I go drink me some water. Ah. Y'all know how it is in the morning. You got to drink your whole bunch of water. Get your body flowing. But yeah, we about to take a quick trip. Ride up there. Got to drop something off. Ride back. And bask in the sunshine. Some may, some may, some may call what's behind me fog. I don't call it fog. I call it sunshine. Some may call it rain, rain. I don't call it rain. I call it sunshine. Some may call it snow, snow. I don't call it snow. I call it sunshine. I'm sorry, y'all. All I can see is greatness. I apologize. No, I'm not going to apologize. All I see is greatness. Do I recognize things when they go awry? Sure. That ain't what I see. I hope you heard what I just said. Do I recognize things when they're not going the way maybe it's maybe it's supposed to go? That's not what I see. Yo, yo, it's game time. It's game time. And I'm so damn happy for y'all. You don't understand. I could be happy for you if I wasn't happy for me. It's hard for you to even think of being happy for somebody else if you're not happy for yourself. Y'all y'all heard the adage before the, the saying, when you get in a plane, they said the plane starts to depressurize and the mask comes from the ceiling. Save yourself, then save the person next to you. You have to be happy for you before you can be happy for anybody else. And once you discover that you're happy for you, Then and only then will you continually will you continue to be the sun. I'm telling you, people are watching you. Some of you think that people are watching you to fail. See, 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 let me let me let me break some of these misbeliefs. Some people think, yeah, cats just watching you just to see if you want to fail. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. Let me stop that right now. I have people say that bull crap all the time. Yeah, they watching you just to see if you're going to fail. Yeah, they watching you just to see if you're going to crumble. Yeah, they watching you just to watch you lose. No, they don't. No, they're not. Stop. Stop. They watch you to see if you can win. So they can give themselves permission to win. We got to look at things differently, y'all. When people say that corny shit to me, yeah, they just watch you. Yeah, they looking at your post just to see where you're going to fail. No, they're not. No, they're not. I don't believe that. Nope, nope. Nope. Talk to the hand. No, they're not. They watch me because they're fearful. They watch me because they need some inspiration. Even haters need inspiration. They watch me because they need someone. They need to see an example. They don't want to see me fail. They watch me so they could get the get the playbook. That's why they watch you. Cause they don't have a playbook yet. Think about this. The cats, if, if somebody's watching you to want to see you fail, if somebody has the junction in their brain to want to see you fail, they're already failing. And that's called the blind leading the blind. I'm helping, I hope you're listening to me. Stop thinking that people watch you to see you fail. Because they're not. 
They're watching you secretly, hoping and praying that you win so they could copy you. So they could say, wait a minute. If they could do it, I could do it. I'm telling you. We got to change our mindset. People saw me go from foreclosures to being written up in Forbes twice. How did that happen? I had one mindset. And it was always a positive one. It wasn't the best. It needed improvement. I needed help. I need mentors. Not I need it. I need mentors still. But my foundation was okay. Because I was already happy. And I wasn't going to let a motherfucker make me sad at all. Under no circumstances. I was happy and I was hungry. I was hungry to win. But I couldn't win until I started seeing these examples. Thank God. The folks who I choose to follow. They don't remain humble. Because the, ch the folks that I choose to follow remain humble. I'd be a broke ass. Real talk. I follow the inspirational ones. I follow the sons. Back in the day when slaves were going up the, you know, going from the south to the north for freedom, they followed the brightest thing in the sky at night, and that was the North Star. They didn't follow a dimly lit star. They didn't follow a star that was almost out of gas. They followed the brightest star at night. I, I hate it when they stop playing uh, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous in Cribs. Y'all don't understand. Then you can't find a ride report hardly nowhere. Do you know what my family doing before my girls go back to school? We're redoing our dream boards. I hate it when they stop lifestyles of rich and famous. It was some hater. When they stopped doing cribs. Some hater somewhere. Put the hate you saw on these on these entities. The Rob Report. Man. Rob Report is that stuff. So guess what, y'all? We, the new lifestyles of the rich and famous. We, the new cribs. Y'all, I'm building. A, I'm building a crib right now down in uh, Florida. I ain't even gonna say no. I wait till you see it. What? We are the light and the sun. The, the winter solstice just started. So based on astrology, based on a lot of deep things, tonight and tomorrow is that night. That you, you become the sun. Peeps. I'm, I'm being very basic with this message, I pray. I hope. That this be the best Hot Tub Chronicle all, all year. That you leave this Hot Tub Chronicle and immediately, immediately, immediately become the son that you are. Man, I'm more excited about 2023 than you. I can't wait to see success stories. And I'm going to go tell it on the mountain. I'm going to go tell your success story. Hard as I can, as fast as I can. I'm going to, as the jealous people and the haters people say, I'm going to brag on you. Y'all know that word brag came from jealous and haters. They made it up. But yo, yo, I'm about to go in the house. 
Well, I can't go in the house without saying what's up to some of my peeps. And you just joined this one. You might want to watch this one from the beginning. What's up, Judy? Brother Bishop, what's the deal, my man? Ken Lockhart, what's happening, man? Pierre Towns, my man. Julie, what's going on, lady? Hey, Miss Linda, how you doing? Judy says, we have great people in our corners, but as humans, we sometimes have to figure out for ourselves. Learning curve is now your roadmap moving forward. It's all good as you are fully it's all good as you are fully aware. Uh, I had to hit the button. Fully aware, your mentors clearly have your back. You're officially in the know. Thanks, Judy. I believe that. Brother Clyde, what's going on, man? What's up, Miss Aisha? Miss Ardina, what's happening? Dad, what's the deal, bro? Mike, what's what up, bro? Brother Derek Pettis, yo, thanks for the hookup, man. Sorry we couldn't hook up when I was down in St. Petersburg, but thank you for the hookup, man, big time. Much appreciated. And yo, Derek Pettis has a thriving tax program. Look, y'all, anybody looking to get their taxes done, reach out to my man Derek Pettis right now. He knows his stuff. He, he knows his stuff. And he got a hookup for you. Just tell whether you're part of UIGI or not. Reach out to Derek Pettis. Tell him you're part of UIGI SC. Or you even thinking about being part of UIGISC. And he's going to hook you up on your taxes. My man. What's up, Laura? Cousin Derek, what's the deal, baby? Reggie Brown, what's happening, baby? Great day to be alive. See, see, my man Reggie Brown, he say great day to be alive. He don't say, I'm just making it. You talk to Reggie, he say great day to be alive. That's him being the son. He ain't humbly saying, well, I'm just getting by. When I call Reggie, I'll be, yo, yo, baby, what's going on? Great day to be alive. He don't be like, well, you know, just living day by day. Nah. It's my man right there. Reggie put hope. Hope other people. Brother Dorian, what's happening? Chicago, what's going on, cuz? It's my nephew right there. Lisa, what's happening? Shock, what's going on? I had to test mediocrity right on. Right. Sorry about that, y'all. My Wi-Fi went out for a second. Let's get it done in 2023. You're right, Judy. What's up, Sharon? Brother Al, what's happening? Linda said she busting loose. Gotta love it. Remember that song, Linda? I feel like busting loose. Busting loose. Get, 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 get on down. Get, 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 get on down. What movie was that in? Dr. Detroit. That was in Dr. Detroit. Some of y'all remember Dr. Detroit. What's going on, Saliza? I am the sun. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, it's all good, Cousin Derek. It's all good, baby. It's real. What's up, Cheryl? My man Mike right there. What's up, brother? Shaquem, what's the deal, baby? Hey, Nicole, what's happening, lady? Tell her hubby and the family I said what's up. Covetus, what's going on? Wendy, what's happening, lady? Tell my man Jason I said what's up. Monique, what's happening, lady? Kathy, good morning. Hey, Anna, how you doing? Tell Joey and the family I said, what's up? Shannon, what's happening, man? Judy, that's good. Good, good, good. Great to be of service. Jordan, that's good. Great to be of service. New, what's the deal, baby? Corey, what's going on, man? Okay, Sharon, you catch the replay, it's all good. T. Scott, what's happening, man? Kyrie John, what's going on, man? Last hot tip chronicle of the year, you know it. Matthew, what's the deal? Sharon, what's going on? Rodney, what's happening? 
Whole life. I like that. Whole life. Alex, what's happening? All right, y'all. I'm about to bounce. Got to get the family up. Waking everybody up in the house. Wake them up, shake them up. But I had to come out here and get in the hot tub, y'all. End the new year the same way I'm going to start the new year. We might be in this bad boy at 1 o'clock in the morning. Dogs out here. Dogs, surveillance cameras, and guns. <sighs> that sucks to even say that. I ain't ending this off with that. I'm ending this off with, you the sun, baby. You are the light. You. You, not anybody else. Not nobody you following. You are the inspiration. You. Why owe you? You are the inspiration. The person who's listening to my voice right now. Who see my hot face right now. And it's hot in here. You are the inspiration. So 2023 is your year. It's your year. Because now you got the blueprint. You can never say you ain't had a blueprint. You got the blueprint now. You watch this video. You got the blueprint now. You know what not to listen to anymore. You got the blueprint now. There's nothing that's going to hold you back. From making 2023 the best year you've ever had. Real talk. You got watch this every day if you need to. Watch this every day if you need to. Say this bad boy. If there comes a moment in 2023, a moment, a moment where self-doubt creeps in, you think you had a little bit of failure? Watch this video again. Real talk. It nip all that in the bud. Ah, uh, Wendy, I appreciate that. d -set, my man right there. Love that cat. Yo, y'all, I'm about to bounce. Love y'all a whole bunch. My my eyes ain't sweating because it's this steam. I'm getting a little teary eyed myself. I think I needed this message more than more than everybody else who's watching. Real talk. I gotta help more people, gotta do more. Can't stand still, can't rest on my laurels. Can't pack it up. Gotta work smarter. And if I and if we gonna be lights together. Then damn, I got to make sure I'm still plugged in so I'm a light as well. So I need this just as much as y'all if you need it at all. Andrea, what's going on? Mr. Shea, what's going on? I love y'all. I'll hot y'all later. Peace.